Hi, I'm Beatrice. Hi, I'm Kayla. And I'm Eleanor. And, and we're, we're the Gara Dela Giri Dara. And we're at Big Sounds. And you're watching the AU Review. Welcome to Big Sound, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be uh, showcasing in Brisbane? We haven't started yet. <laughs> we will tonight, but it's pretty exciting. It is it exciting. Is. Yeah. yeah. Does it? I know that this year has been a really kind of momentous year for you, for you ladies in terms of producing new music, but also, I suppose, um, generating more of a national profile for yourselves. Um, how does it feel now that we're kind of getting to the end of 2017 and you can look back on what you've done as a as a body of work that's continuing to grow? It's it's been a lot, eh? Mm. A lot. Mm. <laughs> I mean, we come from the bush. I mean, I well, you know, yeah. she lives in Alice, but I come from bush. So it's like I always have time and space to reflect on things, especially the things that we've done so far and the music that's coming from home. Yeah. Um, and sharing it and the things, the people that I've heard it so far, it's been... That in itself has been an inspiration because we're not only inspiring people, but people inspire us because of the response that we receive. And it makes us want to keep going because our story needs to be heard. Mm. Mm. Um, I spent a good while living up in the NT. I was in Darwin for almost 10 years now. So, you know, being able to kind of see a a local music scene such as the one in the NT flourish over the last decade has been amazing because it has come so far, particularly with Indigenous artists. Um, How are you feeling the trends are shifting in terms of there being more avenues for musicians to break through or even just have a place to create and have their music be kind of understood a bit better and received by a wider crowd? Do you feel like it's becoming easier? Yeah, I think so. Yep. It just it just feels there's just a change in the air. Like mm. it's not really people. Mm. I feel like it's just the important part of recognition. I guess like a sense of it like the part where it's not being told or talked about. Yeah. So it's like a silent kind of energy that moves in between people where it's just like everything needs to come together. And the music that has been around for a while, especially the music from the Northern Territory, um, the exposure that has happened over the year and last year, mm-hmm. and having like um, events like Nemas and Bush Bands has grown a lot too. Yeah. And that exposure from that has just been significant. And it's been, um, yeah, it's been, I feel like there is. It's been a good thing. Like mm, something's happening. Something's happening. Yeah, but it's like people are hungry for yeah. connection and understanding. And um, I think there's such a big rise for women, and yeah, um, yeah. particularly for. Um, I mean, I guess I'm a producer, and um, having the um, accessibility to be able to take a studio to Mullinger and make an album out there. So with the, that technology, and yeah. it all feels like it's sort of coming together to create more of an underground movement it's not being controlled by you know a mob of gadia white men <laughs> in offices you know it's like yeah yeah it's changing and it's cool to to think of it as being like you were saying before you know you're inspiring people as you were inspired to mm-hmm. i mean we've got a younger generation who's now kind of coming through maybe thinking they want to get into music or writing music they're seeing what initiatives like Bush Bands and Desert Divas can provide, mm. but also they're seeing artists like yourself, they're seeing artists like Apakacha, like they're seeing all of these really talented individuals kind of come through, be accepted, be encouraged. And I feel like for the longest time that just wasn't, well, maybe it was there, but it definitely wasn't there on the scale that it's starting to become now. So I feel like you guys are in a really interesting position mm. moving mm. ahead. Yeah. Um, in terms of the music that you're making, I mean, what's exciting you the most about, you know, approaching a new year and kind of getting into things, you know, not necessarily a clean slate, but you've got a, you've got a bit of a presence now, you've got a really good foundation laid down. Um, what's exciting you about new music in 2018? Um, 
lots of collaborations have sort of come yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. from lots of different people. Hey, yeah. Um, I think writing new music as well. That's exciting. New tracks. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. else? New possibilities. I mean, we've been talking lots about wanting to do some other projects with women from other communities in language, or mm-hmm. doing a kids album in language. Yeah, like cool. just. Oh, yeah, we've got so many ideas. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. enough time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. How would you describe the, I suppose, the songwriting and production dynamic between the group, or between the members of the group now that you've obviously been working together for a little while? Mm. Um, how would you describe that process? Um, I guess... B. Um, would be the main, I mean, we're all in it together. I mm. mean, if, you, if you've heard the album, it's all storytelling. Yeah. So it's, the concept of it is all of us together and putting all of our feelings towards it and feeling, feeling the meaning, I guess, or the purpose of each song. Mm. And um, all of the song came out of just the feeling of country and women mm-hmm. and the earth. Yeah. And so I guess with that, we've all just fell into it, like we fell in love with it. And yeah. it, we all just, um, the stories came, the songs just came. And B was there when we first, when we first wrote Abala Baloa. Mm. Do you remember that night? Mm. Mm. It felt really haunting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then after that, we just, we just went from there. The stories yeah. just came out flowing and then, you know, mm. like, we came up with the music, music and then yeah. we've written some things down in English and got Adi Janie who's not yeah. here but she helped us to translate it and mm. um, from there it was non-stop mm. <laughs> working with Kayla and who's the rapper Kayla, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah we love hip-hop as well so I really wanted to get some mad gangster vibes <laughs> <laughs> went down the road and got <laughs> Kayla <laughs> yeah. awesome stuff well we can't wait to see um what the new year brings mm. for you ladies like I said with this with the music that we've heard so far it's I think it's an in, indicative of a really positive positive movement that's already been happening up in the NT for ages now but it's really cool to see more audiences switching on to it um so we can't wait to see how that continues to grow in the new year for sure thank mm. you so much thank you thank you, thank you. Nice.